We will take you on a step-by-step -step process of doing macadamia nut leaf tissue samples. There are several reasons for sampling an orchard. The first reason would be to determine what nutrients are present in the tree. This can help you to understand what nutrients the plant is lacking, sufficient in, or has an excess of. The second reason would be to help diagnose a plant health issue. There are two methods of sampling leaf tissues. You can either submit a composite sample or samples based on individual trees. Composite samples are typically done for uniform orchards with uniform tree health. Composite sample analyses can be used to determine general nutrient content in the leaves, which in turn can be used to determine general fertilization requirements for the macadamia nut trees. For a composite sample, you will need to collect three to four leaves per tree from five to six trees around the orchard. Individual samples are typically conducted to help in identifying a plant nutritional problem. For an individual sample, you will need to collect all 16 to 20 leaves from one tree. For sampling, you will need a permanent pen or marker, flagging tape or a tool to mark the trees, and quart ziplocs or brown paper bags. A ladder or fruit picker pole pruner can be helpful if the leaves are beyond your reach. A map and notebook can also be useful in identifying sample trees and to jot down descriptions of conditions or symptoms of problems. The best time to take leaf samples is in early spring just before the first major flush of new growth occurs. Before sampling, first tag or mark the tree using flagging tape or ribbon and provide the tree with an identification letter or number. Log this in your notebook or map. This way you can return to the tree and track progress of tree health, soil amendments, and your fertilization program. Second, label the bag with the date and location of the sampling site. You can write something like field A or tree next to rock wall. Describe the problem in brief, if any, and write down the type of leaves contained in the bag. For this instance, it would be macadamia nut. You may also want to write your name on the bag. Third, use your notebook and map to note the date, sample number, location of the tree, and complete reason for sampling the tree or trees. This way, you can refer back to your notes if you need to in the future. Sampling macadamia nut leaves is fairly simple. However, there are factors that can throw off your results if you are not careful. It is important to choose the proper branch to sample. The branch on the left is green and too young for sampling. The tan branch in the middle is okay, but the darker brown mature branch is in a resting state and would be the best option. Sampling from either of these mature branches is fine. If you were to touch the tip of the branch on the left, it would feel stiff and pokey. The branch on the right has a tip that is just flushing out. The green portion would be soft to the touch. A major reason why you should choose mature branches and leaves to sample is because of the mobility and immobility of certain nutrients during certain phases of plant growth. Locate a branch that is reachable or about mid-height of the tree. Now locate the second whorl of leaves below the tip and remove one of the leaves and put it in the bag. Repeat this process until 16 to 20 leaves are collected for each sample if doing an individual sample. If doing a composite sample, tag and sample 5 to 6 trees, taking just 3 to 4 leaves per tree and combine all the leaves into one sample bag. Remember to keep your samples in a cool dry place or in the refrigerator until you can take them to your nearest UHC TAR extension office. It is best to call and make an appointment to be sure that someone will be able to receive your samples. Here is a list of extension offices on the Big Island. The most common test performed is an analysis for T1 total nitrogen and T2 for all listed nutrients. It costs $7 per T1 sample and $20 for each T2 sample. 
it's a good idea to bring notes of the fertilization history of your orchard. This may help in processing the ADSC forms that must be filled out and sent with the payment and samples. Analyses can take anywhere from one week to over a month to return. Please time your sampling accordingly.